today we are going to uh, talk about the difference between starch, glycogen, and glucose. This is from section 2.3 in uh, molecular biology. Okay, so first we are going to contrast the structure and function of cellulose. Um, aminism only pectin, which is starch, and glycogen. So first we're going to start with the differences between uh, the two uh, com the two types of starch, which is amylase and amylopectin. They both are made of alpha-D glucose. There are two types of glucose, alpha-D glucose and beta-D glucose. Uh, amylase is 1,4 and amylopectin is 1,4 and 1,6. This stands for the, the number of the carbon in the chain. You don't need to know exactly what they mean or what they represent, you just need to know that it has more than one type of bonding. Therefore, uh, this is branched because um, there could be a bond from here and from here. And this one is unbranched because there's only one bond. So because it's, there's only one bond, it, it forms a helix. However, this is globular. It becomes very a very big structure but both of them are curved in structure they look like this because there is um, the glycosidic linkage is only down so the whole structure is bent because uh, this glucose is leaving this side towards its glycosidic linkage and then this one's also leading towards this and together it makes a very curved uh, structure and this is because this glucose is alpha D not beta D but we'll go into the details later as we explain the differences between alpha and beta D glucose okay uh, both of them are uh, used as storage in plants. Now, glycogen is also made out of alpha D glucose. It also has 1, 4, and 1, 6, and is branched. Uh, it's globular, curved, however, the only difference is storage in animals. If you can connect this with um, the process of maintaining blood glucose levels, when there's a lot of glucose, it's insulin cans, and glucose converted to glycogen stored in the liver. Storage in animals and specifically humans in the liver. And for cellulose, this is the biggest difference. It's it's actually quite different than all the rest. Um, it's made out of beta D glucose, and this is uh, one of the major reasons that everything else is, is different. Uh, it's unbranched, it's straight, and its function is tensile strength in cell walls in plants. So it's not globular and it's straight because it's made out of alpha D glucose. So it looks like this. The alpha D glucose has two carbons with an OH on top. So here is the first carbon with the OH. It's bonded to something else. It's right here. And then the second one on top is right here. So there's alternating uh, glycosidic linkages, one up, one down, one up, one down. This kind of makes it balance and therefore it's straight. It is not, um, it's not curved like the structure of um, glycogen and starch that are made out of uh, alpha, beta, D. So, write this down. This is the difference between an alpha D and a um, beta D glucose. So, um, all of these have a carbon with an OH down and an H up. H up, OH down. And this one has only this carbon has an OH up. 
while all of them have OH down, like this. This carbon has an H up and an OH uh, hydroxy and PP down. Now, the beta glucose has two carbons with an OH up. So this, this goes here and this comes up. The hydroxyl group is up. So that's why uh, a bond can come from here and from here. However, for this, all the bonds are only on one side. This side, and then the other, the next uh, glucose is going to have a bond this side. And so on, making a curve. While this one, there's going to be one here, one here, and it's going to be uh, a, a much less curved structure than the alpha B glucose. So by this, we have covered this one. Uh, assessment statement and this one and then the structure and the function of cellulose and starch in plants and grafted in humans we have covered this and that's it